think they can't do nothing on the, on any type of activities to the end of end of May. Yeah, they can't do nothing. Yeah, it's so, going to affect everything for the rest of the year, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I appreciate. All right, it. be safe. All right. What is up, y'all? How is everybody doing? Sorry about that. Somebody walked in right when I. Right when I click live, I saw my video, my, my, my intro video froze or something. It seemed like it did to me. Uh, so, yes, I had it muted. Sorry about that. And, and I don't know. Somebody, I was trying to follow the comments, but uh, it didn't just, I couldn't get it to, couldn't, I did, it's, I'm, I'm a little frazzled right now. And we're going to talk about that. Yes, can't hear you. Hit your refresh button if you can't hear me. Hit your refresh button. Anyway, good morning, happy Saturday morning live 14, season 2. Yes, welcome to the uh, channel. If you are new here, we might have... Oh, Lock Force Light, thank you, uh, Mr. Forbes. Turn on. Yes, fresh batteries too. Thank you for all your likes and subscribes. We we're able to afford batteries for the Lock Force Light still. Really appreciate that. Uh, uh, because you had your phone upside down. <laughs> Ian got his holographic stickers alrighty. Awesome. I'm wondering if that little, I've got a button on my stream deck now that says 46. I'm assuming that means, I'm gonna go look at these. Oh, 49, yeah, it is pretty, pretty dang close to being right. You know, I don't know, <sighs> I don't know if I have, uh, I don't know if I have any new people here from the tweet. I've kind of got a, a tweet going on that I was way not expecting to happen. The last time I looked, it had passed 23,000 likes <laughs> and so many comments. Every time I open Twitter, I can't, I can't, it, I start to go over the comments and then like 50 more pop up and it's kind of gone crazy. So if there's anybody new here, that was concerning me saying that we're not going to provide services for evictions for right now for the time being uh, yes and there's so many comments so many discussions and comments and I'm both the devil and a hero at the same time so I'm trying to decide how that makes me into like Schrodinger's locksmith uh, I'm overwhelmingly positive so thank you if you're here from that through Twitter because of that then thanks for all your all the support there but uh, I mean and there's so many discussions right now going on about it. As I said, I can't keep up with them. But, you know, there, there, are, there are circumstances. I mean, you do have domestics. You have, you have things where they're damaging property. That's the, the, whole, the whole thing with, with evictions and locksmiths is we get called out. You know, and I've been called everything under the sun from being the devil to doing it anyway uh, to... 3.429,000, okay, so it's just about to have 30,000. That's, that's insane. Uh, I don't, I know, I know Sean King retweeted it, and a lot of that started from there, but a lot of our local people did too. So if you're here, we're Locksmith in Jackson, Mississippi. Yes, we do residential and commercial work, mostly. On Saturdays, we host Saturday Morning Live, and uh, we talk about things in the lock world. So, in case you're here for me to cover or wanting to know what I meant about that, because I really hadn't wanted to reply or, or do anything right now. <laughs> do anything right now. We'll go, we'll go kind of look at that. Let's, uh, let's just, just show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we can go to this. And if, and if you just sit there and watch it for a minute, it, I, you know, I never expected this. I was expecting like 12 local likes, right? So this is my Twitter feed right now. And uh, if you just sit there and watch it, it changes. <laughs> I mean, yes, in most areas, there is like a, a, a stop, a full stop on evictions. And, and, you know, I've got a lot of landlords. I've got a lot of realtors and landlords both who rent to people. And this was in no way saying, don't pay your rent. And you know, like I said, the comments have gone ridiculous. Excuse me. Uh, overwhelmingly positive. And I mean, it's just a, it's just a decision we, we do during the busy months. We do, uh, 
we do, uh, uh, you know, maybe two to three a month where we physically have to go out, meet a sheriff, and, and move them out of the house. And as people have said, no, it's, it sucks to do that. I mean, it's like one of the worst things to have to do to be the bad guy that's locking somebody out of their house. It's, like, it's just part of the job, just like repo drivers and all that. So, you know, a lot of the comments have been like, no telling what's going to come up over this. But uh, uh, it's one of those things where I'm just, we're not going to be doing that right now. Not only is it becoming more and more common to be, I mean, of course you're not supposed to, you shouldn't have to, but people are still, you know, landlords still expect their rent. You know, they gotta pay for things too. So all I can say about the whole thing is just, you know, try to work out a deal. If you if you are not getting money right now, just try to work out some type of deal with your with your landlord. And I don't know, you know, there's it's across the board. You've got the totally ethical ones that followed by the book. <laughs> Five percent of those. And uh, then you've got the majority, which kind of, yeah. And then you've got the ones that'll just kick you out for no reason. So, uh, yeah, of course, you've never been able to be legally kicked out like that if you have a true, you know, landlord tenant lease in most areas. This is Mississippi. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it can take six months through the courts, almost everywhere. It can take like six months through the courts to, for that all to, to happen. So, uh, <laughs> So it's, it's just been kind of humorous watching that. Um, so anyway, good morning to everybody. And uh, yes, make sure and hit that like button. If you are actually here from Twitter because of that, uh, we would appreciate just a simple thumbs up. So make sure and smash that like button after you disinfect it. Yes, that's right. Coronavirus. The month of Sundays is the title of this video. The month of Sundays is because as Kim so jokingly, and you know what, I just touched this. And I just realized I'm really starting to hate these. This is another thing I posted on Twitter that got my, my standard six likes, not my 30, what, 1,000 now or something. <laughs> uh, so, yes, we got to clean the freak. I'm starting to hate these because when you get down to like, you know, 10, it never pulls right. And you have to pop it open and stick your arm down in there. And it's just like, Ugh. Ugh. anyway, let's get back to right our screen here. taking your gloves off and wiping your hands and then realizing that you just touched the screwdriver that you had in your rubber gloves and then you got to wipe your gloves and then it's just it's just driving me crazy <laughs> it's driving me crazy i'm sure it's driving y'all crazy too uh so anyway we appreciate all y'all being here as always i have uh i've just i'm getting i'm getting overwhelmed with comments right now uh, okay, I'm going to just go back a little bit, a bit behind on the full lockdown thing, yes. Can you make me a Darth Vader spear? <laughs> Thank you, Bart. That is our typical troll, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. We, uh, we had, uh, the news come in. You can mute a conversation on Twitter. Eh, I muted notifications. I had to mute notifications. People started a rent strike. I mean, no, you know, try to work it out. If you can't send them the whole amount, if you're trying to send them some money or, you know, trying to ration, I don't know how to answer any of those questions. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, try to try to work with them. Looked at one last night. They said we couldn't. They have not paid in six months. I mean, so, yeah, that is one of those things where if it started six months ago, all I can say to that is... Uh, honestly, the window was missed. The window was missed. And I mean, now I know your circumstance is different because you work directly for, you know, there's, it's so, so hard. There's so many people who run. And I mean, that even comes from mortgages and stuff too. It's just a hard situation all the way around. And I hate to be in the middle of it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, we're not gonna, we screen our calls anyway pretty heavily. We only do those for, kind of known people uh, and the true ones where there's actually somebody in the house uh, that doesn't come up as often as just regular you know there's, there's going to be vacant houses what the landlord does before he calls me if they're out of the house and the house is empty and there's no aside from the obvious trash that's in vacant houses I mean there's no way going to stop me from doing 
you know, rekeying because houses have to turn over. Landlords have to get these back in operation. So what they do with that, but they're not, we're not, basically what it boils down to is we're not going to go meet with the sheriff and kick out a family just because they can't pay. Sorry. Not going to happen with us. And the people are like, well, I'll just call your competitor. Go ahead. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. I could care less. <laughs> anyway, that is, uh, that's all I have to say on that matter. I'm going to enjoy uh, kind of going over the comments when I'm able to, when they slow down and I can actually just scroll through and maybe reply to a few. But anyway, that's that. What else do we have to talk about? Uh, oh yeah, the news thing, the news thing. Let's go back over to, you know, I have a button for this one, so I gotta use, I gotta use this. Um, uh, so this is, I don't know how this is gonna turn out because we're feeding two videos into one. Uh, so that's Keegan Fox. She is not actually the one that, uh, that came out and did the interview. The interview was done by, uh, the interview, this, 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 Unfortunately, Keegan just cropped this together pretty, pretty hastily, and it, it's not anything like what we recorded. It's simply a, a collection of clips. So we'll make it simple. Also, the mayor's stay-at-home orders, but some essential businesses are still open. <laughs> businesses like your local restaurants. Grocery stores and laundry services are deemed essential and are open. Many of them are adjusting their services to meet the guidelines set by the CDC. Business owners say they know shoppers are reluctant to get out during this COVID-19 crisis, but they still need your oh, business. Sorry. Darth Vader keys. Uh, see, that, that was all it is. And Cindy Moore says they are running on a skeleton crew to try and keep things afloat during this shelter-in-place order. Reporting live from home tonight, Keegan Fox, 16 WAPT News. Yeah, I know. I know I blocked the video. I realized it as soon as possible. As soon as I did, but that was like, oh yeah. Let's see if I get there. Grocery stores and laundry services are deemed essential and are open. Many of them are adjusting their services to meet the guidelines set by the CDC. Business owners say they know shoppers are reluctant to get out during this COVID-19 crisis, but they still need your business. Cindy Moore says they are running on a skeleton crew to try and keep things afloat during this show. Anyway, anyway, that's what happened. That's what happened. Uh, also, let's go ahead and take this opportunity right now in case you are actually new to this channel. <laughs> and um, we'll go, where are we? We'll go here. Yes, this is, uh, this is cold, uh, Mississippi cold drip. MSColdGrip.com. It's cold coffee. I've got uh, sweetened condensed milk stirred in. This is this is the plug. This is the plug for my boys. My boys at the coffee shop. These are my two favorites. This is a uh, turtle, Mississippi turtle, and Mississippi mocha. Big jars. Definitely get a big jar. They do ship. They do have some specials going on. Uh, so yes, it is. Uh, that's what it is. Steep triple reverse reverse osmosis and then filtered. He's a local Jackson person. Actually, he's from New Orleans, but he lives in Jackson. He has his he like three miles away. I've been to his place and uh, it uh, is awesome inside. Big tanks of brewery coffee and all that. One day I'll try to get over there and do a video uh, about his place. So. The obsession with painted keys. Cold drip is very good. So I'm going to scan over the comments because I've been totally ignoring you guys. Hey, hey to everybody. Let's just say that. Everybody, hey. Just imagine me inserting your name right here and saying hey because otherwise it would take me a minute to actually do all those. So anyway, for everybody who's here, we appreciate y'all for coming in to Saturday Morning Live. We do have a few topics that we're going to go over as well. 
All right, Secure Tech, you're with me. I'm not locking anybody. That's it. Awesome. They're going to find people to do it. The ones that are going to do it are going to find people to do it, unfortunately. And again, there's extenuating circumstances, of course. Like, you know, the house is falling over and, you know, everybody got arrested and all this. There, there's... There's a whole lot of levels to that. <laughs> whole lot of levels to it. Fascinated with the solid wall of keys. The uh, the cameraman actually some of the B-roll, which all that was B-roll. That was nothing but B-roll. They didn't actually really show. I do have a clip of them uh, showing a little clip of Kim saying, "Come back, keys." But the cameraman was really loving the key wall back there, and uh, I don't know. Just they like key walls. They're pretty cool. Anyone getting calls for antibacterial door hardware? Thank you, Access. We're going to go to the content section of this because that is one of the first things that we were going to talk about since we are supposed to... No, not that. That. Since we are supposed to be talking about that, locks, that being locks, we'll get on over to... Uh, camera. So, uh, yes, microbial hardware. Microbial hardware. That is, uh, that was quick set. Somebody ordered that and brought it in. And I guess it's brand new. I haven't seen quick set packaging in a few months. I know it's kind of hard to read. It's small, but let me make it bigger. No, not that one. Let's go back, go back to, uh, go back to this one. Ninety-nine point nine percent cleaner. 99.9% .9 cleaner. Uh, and then we have this one that says 99.9% uh, .9 cleaner than unprotected surface of protector with microband. This versus an unprotected surface. Quick set with microband inhibits growth of damaging bacteria, providing you with a cleaner home. Quickset.com, blah, 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 blah. Is this... Uh, is this how, could, could you, do you recall how far back, anybody, anybody, anybody recall how far back they've seen this on their packaging? Has been there for four years. <laughs> Dang it, Night Owl. It just goes to show how much. I, oh no! Get off my screen. It just goes to show how much I, I, I uh, pay attention to quick set packaging. So this lock is just a repackaged regular lock. Yeah. Uh, so a legion, a legion put out a notice saying no, it does work. So, but it doesn't help for coronavirus. It's 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 microbial. Or micro band, whatever you call it. Every company has their own, you know, kind of term for it. But coronavirus is, is a, a virus and it doesn't protect against that. It protects against bacteria, which is what it says. It does, it's not lying. It does protect more, I guess, against bacteria. We guess. We're going to assume. Don't believe any packaging now, all right? I don't have the electron microscope and a sample of COVID-19 to actually test that. I would, uh, I know they've been doing tests on like sneezing and coughing and I don't know. I think they use it on gas pump handles. That wouldn't last. I mean, even if it's on there on the doorknob, it wouldn't last. what a year at most well we we have when, when the hospital redoes their floors over here that i do the work at uh they get out it's all anti-microbial this was started five six years ago 
Silver is usually, so it's got a little bit more silver in there. Okay, though, I mean, that makes sense. In, in, enveloped viruses are susceptible. Oh, Night Owl busting out with, we have missed your big words, Night Owl. It was a claim that brass knobs were self They, it, if uh, over a period of time, like after, I think it's like after maybe a day, 15 hours or something. I want, I keep wanting to say 15 hours. I guess I saw something saying that germs, just plain germs, not super germs, but just plain germs, uh, kind of go not disappear, but they just kind of get neutral after about 15 hours on on like uh, regular brush chrome, you know, hospital hardware. So, coronavirus was only four hours on copper. Everybody get copper door locks. <laughs> they use a lot of big words up in the New York City. Big words up there. Okay, so, um, what do we have? What do we have? Another new lock. Yeah, that was what I accidentally clicked open. Speaking of... Yeah, speaking of, I saw this one. Anybody seen this one cross their feed? Now you will. It is the Dado Home. You're welcome for saying the name of it so that it would show up in your feed. Uh, Smart Lock B4, LB4. What in the ever-loving... What in the... Ex, ex, what in the extra... Ridiculous... What is that? What the heck is that? I wonder if it's that antimicrobial. I didn't look at their website enough. It's like an old decadent phone dollar. It is, it's extra. <laughs> that's, that's some extra. Here's the other view of it. Okay, if it what? And, and it's a passive, or it's a, uh, it's just a doorknob. That's that's what I, when I was, so saw the first picture, I was like, "How in the, how in the extra does that even work or a target for a sledgehammer?" No key backpack. <laughs> What's up, PDX? No, uh, I guess not. I think LPL should should spend his hundred, spend his millions from YouTube on that hundred dollar lock. I had trouble enough buying that quick set that I did the funny video on. I had trouble enough spending thirty dollars wasting money on, on that. Much less spending a hundred bucks for a ridiculous lock. I can almost guarantee the magnet will work. <laughs> we can almost guarantee that the magnet will work. <laughs> Are you looking at? Wait, wait, wait. What'd you just say? Target for a sledgehammer. That's so destined to fail, yeah. Are you looking at lightsabers? Am I looking at light... Uh, yeah, wait, that kind of does look like a lightsaber, doesn't it? Kind of does look like one. I don't, I don't know about that. Look at the dead latch. Let me make it bigger here. The, the latch part of it is kind of funny looking. Look at that. that. That is some extra... That's some extra stuff right there. Look at that. Is that plastic in there? The gear behind the latch? It's based on the Hadron Collider. I was thinking about a magnet too. Of course a magnet would work. Or screws. Yeah. That's right. Oh no, they probably... It looks like through bolts right there. I don't know what those blue and blue and black little things are. I don't, well, I don't know what it, that is. This is just crazy. That's just crazy. Don't waste your money on that nonsense. There are so many new ones coming out every day. It is uh, crazy. Going back to last week's uh, Saturday Morning Live 13. I, we talked about that Yale up there. Thank you, Jeff Moss, for pointing out that there is indeed a conversion kit for regular cylinders. It's called the KIT-K001YA. Not to be confused with the K001YA, which is actually just a Yale cylinder. Uh, and uh, that's what Acme did to me. It was sent me a bunch of Yale cylinders when I ordered these. Are they alternate? Like, oh, those may be batteries. Yeah, that's what that is. That may be what that blue part is. I didn't think about that. 
just a CAD rendering hadn't even been manufactured yet. I mean, yeah, I didn't see, I uh, didn't click too far into it. LPL just did a fingerprint cam lock with a magnet. Yeah, I saw one of his, not the last one he did, but the one before that. So, love to break one. Yeah, I'd love to spend a hundred dollars just to, to whack it with a sledgehammer because I would in a heartbeat, but we're not going to do that. Anyway, that's the kit in case you need to convert a Yale 446F. My eyesight's not that good, and this 446F Yale exit trim for panic devices. You need this little part. Please don't buy them all from Flake because i got to put an order in Monday or Tuesday for them. I don't know if they have like 260. I'm going to make dang sure that it's not the K-O-O-1-Y-A, and it's the K-I-T dash. K O O one Y. Make sure you don't mess that up when you order. Uh, this one yesterday. Who wants to guess? Switching over to automotive. Who wants to guess what the problem is there? Well, I take a sip of this fine Mississippi cold drip of coffee. It's a Toyota. Toyota. Um, it's that little part, right, if you move my finger across the screen right there, a little plastic has ripped off the, uh, it looks like half of a fidget spinner. See, it's broken away from the plastic. Uh, and uh, it, is, it, is, it is, when you close the door, what's happening is it's pivoting Oh, and it should be holding still, and it's just allowed to float up. When you close the door and lock it, it's game over. Game over. I, I got really lucky getting it open twice. I did it to myself twice. Once you get it open, never close the door and try it again. I locked it. Uh, I had to cut a code key for this one. And uh, code key worked perfectly for it, and... Uh, Cycle it in the lock, not knowing, because the customer didn't mention it. But <laughs> I turned it in the lock, and it locked. And then I got it took like five minutes to get it open by pulling on the button and turning the key. It wouldn't open from the inside and outside. And that's the problem. It's bam, you've got a door that's locked, and it's locked. You can't get it open. Typically, that's a broken latch. But in this case, I knew it was something in the handle, so I popped the panel off and told her, hey, you get to order a handle. Go to eBay and order it and come back and see me. So uh, I guess I'll be switching that handle out come next week with the eBay handle. Speaking of handles, I have to switch out my own handle. I have not done it yet. I posted this on Twitter as well. It's my passenger side handle. I got lucky, and I hate doing this. I've actually done a video on this. Uh, before it took an hour to do that video then and I've I've narrowed it down since that video to about 25 minutes That's counting digging out the tools that I need to do it So hopefully this will go Pretty quick and I was supposed to do that yesterday morning and didn't get a chance because even though it has Slowed down a little bit it uh, ended up I ended up with three or four jobs just two three jobs yesterday, so yeah, it's good and good and bad, good and bad. Um, let us go down to. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about this. I, saw, I noticed this on Dalp's uh, channel last video he did or something, and he he posts on his descriptions. He posts this. This is what lock locksmith toolbox. Customers never mention anything that was working before. Yeah. If you get it open, rule number zero. Yes, I did not. I did not uh, do. I did not keep it open. I should have. But it was working great with it open. Uh, the renegade. Whoa. The renegade. Gumby's got to do his tailgate lock, but the GM cylinder does not come with wafers. 
Gotta buy those separately. What? Uh, well, yeah, but you'd have to buy like I don't know. Can you buy? You can't buy wafers. I can probably scrape some together for you, Gumby. I could slip those on an envelope and mail them out. I'll get with you on on find out. I'll send you a message. <laughs> I would say I'd send you a message on Twitter, but <laughs> I'd never get it back. <laughs> Just. Uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to, I'll see if I have the right way for it. Don't start. Uh-uh. The Tesla. Thank you for taking, getting out of my parking place. I really appreciate that. We'll go, we'll go back and look at that because I didn't get done talking about uh, the the Renegade the Renegade kit. That was a pretty awesome looking uh, case. So, yeah, I know I, I want that case. Looks better than our cases over here. It, well, I say that. I mean, it's made in the U.S., but I've not seen. I, you know, of course, I don't keep up with with HPC the latest cool products because whenever a company sends out a this cool product notice. It, uh, hey, hey, then you got pushed down the street this model, then yes, I did. Let me clean my hand, one leave you on mine. Yeah, go ahead. I had uh, trying to put some melon dough slot, yeah, they uh, just now getting done and leaving over there. They had a farmer's market or something, huh? Yeah, well, they do like plate lunches, like. Big, oh, okay. big versions of what they normally serve. I got you. So that you can eat on it for a few days, I guess. Oh. All right, then, man. Have a good one, okay? Yeah, have Thank a good you. weekend. All right, you too. God, I love that stern deck. One button. Boo. Running off aloud for a Tesla. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was kind of my thought too. Though the, 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 the disc, disc detainer pick, that's the big news. They picked it, Bosnian Bill and LPL made. That's the big news of them. Oh, we need to go back to the Renegade. <laughs> Wait, we're not talking about the pick that Bosnian Bill and him made. We're talking about the Renegade set. That case is pretty cool. That looks like some real deal leather. But has anybody seen this? Anyway, going back to that, has anybody seen this ad like, uh, like in the U.S.? Was this in an email that maybe I just didn't see, or I don't know. I don't know. Is this just an Australian thing? Is this just what Australians think of the U.S.? I mean, that's kind of the, the cowboy doing the rope. That's kind of like what we think. Is it just direct marketing for the Australian market? Because it's not like that here and here and here. I mean, it, it is in Texas and maybe a few other states, but I don't know. Is this just an Australia thing or is this just a U.S. thing? Who knows? Who knows? You saw it somewhere online. Well, yeah, I'm sure it's on their website, but I mean, like... Market. Does this come with a free carton of Marlboro? Exactly. <laughs> it came out with a year ago around Father's Day. Okay. It is a U.S. thing. Well, it's made in the U.S., that's for sure. Uh, and then another one. Wait, no, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, this this one. This was, this was just ads on their website because I was like, I was interested. Uh, basically, I was interested in what Australian locksmith supply is like and this this was on their rolling uh rolling banner how much do they want for it i want to say that was i want to say it was 99 dollars. i don't know go to locksmithtoolbox.com that's all i can tell you locksmithtoolbox.com and uh and it'll it'll be on there i have no idea how much it was i think it was a 99 dollar deal uh but then and then this 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 reminded me How's that swick thing going, y'all? I'm 
just gonna we're just gonna leave that right there. Just gonna leave that there. I've never been into those little things. However, I saw them at my local tractor supply place. I did see a set. It's many, many years ago. I didn't buy it. I'm sure it was junk. Junk. Did y'all see the bird in my last video? Swig's still going. They put out an update a couple of weeks ago. It's good to hear they're actually communicating with people. <laughs> the bird. I don't know what that bird's name is, but he's around fondering a lot. He was out bird walking. Bird walking. So, let's go back over here. Oh, Lord. It's just fascinating. It's just fascinating to watch that sometimes. Never had one do this before. Uh, do customers ever ask if we install surveillance? Yeah, the market for that's gotten wildly weird. Wildly weird. Because there's so many DIY solutions now and there's so many alarm installers doing stuff uh, that it's not uh, for a while you know CCTV back in the day when you had when you had the old school with the coax cable and when it was really CCTV I need to go somebody go move my van down for me because I'm busy here and my van's way up the street uh, so I'll never be able to go back over all these comments 38,000? <laughs> Very humorous. Very humorous. Some of the comments are just like a trip there. Anyway, if you're a locksmith, I would urge you to, uh, to be very cautious when it comes to dealing with that. All right, back to the comments, or back to the content. Yes, the bird. I don't know the bird's name. It's it's the bird. Uh, let's see what else have we missed. Uh, we're gonna oh, we're gonna take a picture of Issa and Tippin. We gotta bring the cat and dog into it. This is Issa, the dog, and Tippin the cat. That's Tippin's dog, is what that is. Yep, Tippin's dog. Oh, the Sparrow's DD kit. Yeah, who else is gonna buy one of those? Raise your hand if you're gonna buy one of those. Wait, raise your hand if you're gonna buy one of those. I'm gonna wait till the rush is over because I really, the only, and Wes and I were talking about this before we had to quarantine and you know, all this, but he had, I bought one of those uh, disc detainer things that LPL actually picked one on his video. And I picked one up to test my theory of chopsticks. Long story. And, uh, my the cheap Chinese pick wouldn't uh, go into it, but though that type of thing, and now I'm looking for a way to just buy, easily bypass that until the pick comes out. And literally, that would be the only thing I would ever use in the field. A disc detainer style pick on would be a a uh, one of those uh, trailer hitch locks. I, I I don't have it here. It's it's over there. Uh, that would be the only thing I would ever use that on. And no, knock on wood, knock on wood, I'm not going to talk too much about this, but uh, knock on wood, I've not run across those yet stuck on a vehicle where I had to deal with it. Because without the tools to do it, the tool, the tool the Bosnia Bill and LPO made to do it, uh, it, it, it you, you, you drill. And it's stainless steel. It looks pretty tough. And I'm kind of curious about running a drill bit through it. Now that Wes and I have both played around with it, honestly, I only played around with it for like an hour and gave it to him, and he played around with it for no time how long, and he didn't have any luck either. So, I, honestly, at this point, I do want to do want to either cut it open or 
drill it open to find out how it's retained inside uh, four possible bypasses in the field you know because you're on the you're on the ground and see that's what that's that, that goes back to that if you that, take that same test that he did now you know of course LPL has serious skills but go lock it underneath a truck and then go lay on the ground out on State Street <laughs> with cars zipping by uh, and 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 trying to do all that same thing with six months of road grime in it even though they have rubber cap the rubber cap always gets lost whole different story then so in that case I would want to definitely be able to bypass it as quickly as possible so I want to find the uh, find the, the the easiest way to stick a drill bit in it and, and get it off Chief Chinese, you can just pull the core out with a screwdriver. But yeah, I saw you mention that on Twitter, not the rounded edge. But I mean, the keys are rounded, so wouldn't it have to be? Otherwise, it have to be made smaller to go into the hole. That's what I would think, because the keys themselves are are rounded. So that, I mean, that's I would have just assumed that the rounded was part of it just having to fit in there it's a cheap Chinese distatamer see they don't hold on let's go look at it hold on I mean he did do the same 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 product Reese security Reese tow power And uh, there's several different variations of it, but this is what we're talking about here. Looks like it would be no problem. This actually, I picked out the one. These are on clearance. That's the only reason I bought it. Uh, looks like it wouldn't be that big of an issue. Uh, and I did compare some of the cuts, and this is kind of like shallow, deep, shallow. Uh, but, so the, yeah, the cheap Chinese disc detainer, how this works is on this one. You put the key in, turn it, and that pops out. So I was thinking maybe shim it somehow down the thing. Uh, but when you get it off, I mean, it's a completely sealed like unit. There's no way that goes in and pushes these ball bearings out. So... When you turn the key, I was I tried for quite a while, messed up several shims, trying to maybe shim it, which would have been humorous. Uh, but it is nice. I mean, it's well constructed compared to some of that crap that they put out nowadays. So, uh, you know, slam hammer's an idea, but those are pretty big balls to beat. And uh, pretty good, pretty good hollow. Maybe it would tear. Maybe it would just, I don't know. That's pretty thick, too. That's pretty thick because it's got an O-ring in there. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's a pretty tough little lock. I'm pretty impressed compared to some of the, some of the wafer ones, of course. Or ridiculous. I love those. Sure, I'll take your trailer hitch lock off. Won't be a problem. Just rip the core out and the fall off the bear. Do you still have that W lock here? You want to see the W lock? I haven't done anything with it in a while. The w lock lives back here. Sorry, I dropped it. <laughs> it's totally accidental. If the edge is round and then it'll slip off the top tensioning disc. Yeah. Few of you, uh, I, I saw, I guess that was you, Nathan. Is that you who said that? No, Logan, yes. Uh, 
I saw somebody post uh, an updated comment. I did a few. Look at that drill, drill hole right there. Heckin' yeah. I burn up a bit on that bad boy. It used to be shrouded on this side too. I did manage to get that off. Uh, this has been being beat on for a long, long time. And all sorts of gooey, anything from toilet cleaner to to oh, everything. I lit it on fire, fuel, propane. I burn it. <laughs> and uh, it got so gummed up. It's actually pretty hard to actually get the key all the way in there, but look at that. Look at that. It needs some lube. 100 year mechanical warranty. Uh, Chris Sistrunk brought his two bowl. Uh, yeah, no. He has a W lock. He brought his bowlies in for me to look at. I got to, I got to play with his bowlie. Uh, but this one is. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Evaluation sample. They sent us. They sent us this for free before uh before really before it 99 i mean that tells you it was it was i think it was right at the year 2000 when we got this and you know, you know how the internet was then it was not nearly like as common like we didn't know anything about it and you know disc detainers were like what in the heck is this kind of padlock is key retaining too what in the heck is this kind of padlock and oh it's tough but we do have to give it props for being tough uh, now those are those are hammer marks <laughs> those are those are hammer marks it's a flat key it has this Oh, okay, you're talking about that thing. I didn't know what you're talking about. Little lag here and there. Oh, that may just be my internet. Sorry about that if you're having a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Why is it lagging like that? I apologize my apologies anyway we went over all the content and uh, it is only 12 o'clock Wow did you just do the Luke Skywalker lightsaber toss move yep <laughs> see ya <laughs> see ya 72 look my little buttons right it actually says 71 on there so welcome new people there are obviously some new people here now because we usually top off at about what 60 so welcome to the channel. We are midway through Saturday Morning Live. That's where we all kind of hang out, talk about stuff. Oh, we did forget about. Dude, we got to get to the food part, right? The food part. The food part. This has become my lunch. As you know, restaurants being closed and us being open, we don't have anywhere to eat. So we raided the grocery store, which reminds me, I got to go to the grocery store because we're having pasta tonight and Walmart. I don't know if y'all in your area, if you go shopping, if it's as, it's desolate, like the shelves are still. And here in Mississippi, we just passed Friday as of Friday at 5 p.m. Helicopter, sorry, that's a medical medical helicopter. It's kind of like an obligatory siren, but it's an obligatory helicopter uh, because the hospital's right there. Anyway, Locksmith, Jackson, Mississippi. Yes, we we didn't have uh, we we have the the shelter in place order. It started yesterday at five o'clock. We come up here on Saturdays to help people with broken keys and such. And uh, we have not had one of those yet. I'm actually fully stocked on Circle Plus keys and I have not had my obligatory broken Circle Plus keys uh, day. So, uh, but yeah, this was part of my lunch last week. Yeah, um, and I didn't know they were, it says on the other side, it says uh, we're back or something like that. And even though I don't eat these all the time, I, I noticed them on the shelf, and I was like, ooh, that looks good. Uh, none of y'all have helped move my truck over here, by the way. 
Thanks. Appreciate that. Uh, but now they're making two new flavors, and somebody tweeted that info to me, and uh, and then I saw an advertisement from them for it. But they got two new flavors. This is the only flavor I saw on the shelf. Uh, but I love some cheese balls. Cheese balls. I love some cheese balls. And then Kim picked this interesting thing up for me, and I tweeted it. And a few people were actually like, I had heard this on uh, maybe saw it on a commercial. And I was like, what, what? So I told Kim kind of jokingly to pick one up and let me try it. And, and it, it's not, so it's not good and it's not bad. Not good and it's not bad. It's, it's like, uh, what did it remind me of? It reminded me of, of eating uh, maple pancakes or maple, anything maple, real heavy maple. Uh, but the, the actual, the not where, 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 where are we? Oh, there it is. That's the actual thing. And it's it's not as bad as you would think. If you like chocolate and salt, which I like chocolate, like uh, deep uh, dark chocolate caramels with sea salt on them. So I was thinking, hey, chocolate, salt, chocolate, salt. However, because of the the bread, it's almost like eating a, a pancake. The aftertaste. When you're eating it, it tastes like what you would think, like a soft pretzel with chocolate on it, which I eat soft pretzels with mustard, right? So that was kind of unique in itself, but it's no different than like a caramel, and that's kind of like a caramelly glaze. So, but when you get done eating the aftertaste of it, it's kind of like you ate a, a pancake or something with really heavy maple, like maple nut pancakes with, with maple syrup on top. It's very interesting. It's not good. It's not bad. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It was an interesting attempt. It's not something I'm going to get all the time, though. So, uh, today is Balls Day. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What do they call it? Pasta. What y'all talking about? You're a junk food junkie, Jason. I know I am. It's horrible. Right, Nathan. Said he had a hot pretzel dipped in butter with cinnamon sugar. And they have a cinnamon sugar version of it. So that's what I thought she was going to get me. I didn't know she was going to bring me the chocolate version. Uh, the sweet and salty nut bar. See, it's no different than any of that. That's why I wasn't really hesitant. Because your first reaction is like, Ugh. Ugh. Uh, But then you start thinking about it and you're like, well, I you know, maple cookies. Uh, just, if you don't like maple or caramelly, kind of smoky caramelly flavor, then definitely don't want it. But... So it doesn't deserve a vote in the Pop-Tart vote-off like before. The Pop-Tart vote-off. Yes, we had the Pop-Tart vote-off. I'm still stuck with my uh, my chocolate Pop-Tarts. They're, they're going to be the... Uh, they're still going to be my favorite, which I do have a box of those back there, too. I'll move your truck. I'll be down there sometime tomorrow. <laughs> yes, sometime tomorrow you can move it for me. Appreciate that. Thank you for the thought, though. I'm going to... Uh, I just, I hate having it down there, even though, you know, it's down there now, it's all by itself. Now that they've emptied the parking lot out front, and we have plenty of parking. Thank you again for taking out my parking during the uh, morning hours. Appreciate that. But uh, I don't, now it's all down there by itself, and I don't like that. Don't like that. Sorry about hitting y'all with the dude let's switch let's change colors on dude dude wait was it this one which one is it this one okay we'll do that one i don't know what's gonna happen there but um we have no locks that we lost this week well we have one it was a you know a quick set and actually i switched it and that's because we're not doing as many you know calls as we were before unfortunately and i you know we're, we're lucky to be able to have the calls that we do have coming in and we are also trying to kind of heavily screen it. You know, if it's one of those things, like I have one guy. Okay, so do you all ever have this happen? Uh, I had a guy call yesterday and tell Kim, he was like, um, did Jason get that part ordered? So-and-so with the name. And I was like, oh. And she was like, well, he said that you went to the house, looked at the door, seemed to curse at it for a minute and then ordered the part there like while i was there and i was like 
hmm, okay. Don't know what that's about. So I got an address. I looked it up, and I hadn't been to that subdivision that I can remember in at least a year and a half. At least a year and a half. Now, you know, some days you get real busy. You tell somebody that you'll run by look at something. You run by, you look at it, and then you just go on to the next job, and then it just slips your mind. I don't know if that's the case. Google, you know, Google Maps will sometimes remind you, like when you start keying it in, if it comes up, like as soon as you type in a number, it'll show you all the ones that maybe have had that same number, like 120 whatever road. Um, and it, it really didn't do that either. And I was just like, what? How long ago was I at this house? So she called, got the address, got more details on it. He verified that I personally came, looked at the door, he had called other people, and then they all referred me, so I came out and looked at it, and it was a three-point lock. So that was like, now this should be ringing a bell. If I ordered something there, number one, I'm not going to order something there. What I do with the three-point locks is you measure. You have to measure back set, you have to measure length, you have to measure tongue. or There's a whole sheet for three-point lock mechanisms that you have to fill out to make sure you get the right one. Uh, so even even within brands, because there's different back sets, there's different door heights, and the full strip has to be, you know, it's you got to be real real meticulous when you order those because it, they're expensive, and they're also awkward to ship because you're talking about at least a four foot thing. The company we get ours through sends them on a actual one by six board, taped like on a one by six board. Very smart to do even though I'm sure they got through a lot of wood, but very smart to do to keep it from bending. Let's see, let me get caught up on comments here. Are you still gonna add the uh, uh, Blue Dude and Grey Dude to the website? Yeah, I have not updated the website. And I, the website, uh, shoot hook or roller, yeah, shoot bolts, I hate those. Uh, do you do much access control systems? We do, we are licensed for access control. Uh, automatic operators? No, not a whole lot of that. <laughs> Truck hauling toilet paper crashes. Yeah, I saw the news on that. I think Jason loves the space station controller. Boop, boop. See, boop, 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 boop. That's awesome. I hate messing with the camera because I always have to fix it afterward, but yes, I love my little space station controller. It actually helps a lot too because I'm able to uh, push one of those buttons and get it all, the danger button, the danger button, get it all straightened for the uh, the, the cast. It, it'll send my, send a tweet for me. That's one of the most important things is that I'll send a tweet and it'll like mute the microphone, but I'm still getting used to it. This is only the second live that I've used that. Uh, license for that. Yeah, you know, that was a legislature thing that uh, that did that. Are you open now to the public? We are open to the public. Parallel World Cell must have visited and been a bit sloppy. You know, that may be what it was. That, that may be. I f firmly believe in the Parallel World. <laughs> I firmly believe in that. What's the controller board product? Uh, Stream Deck and the keys are actually programmed in their icons uh, so when it comes it's all blank and you you just load whatever picture you want for the icon we'll actually do gifts too so I can actually have a bunch of little mini gifts running around on the screen so it is the stream deck from Elgato uh, pretty awesome uh, piece of kit that's the small that's the 15 button which was like online like 135 I tried to go to our best buy trying to even though it's not really supporting local, they do hire local people. So, you know, they're trying to keep money in state and and then they couldn't find it, so I had to order it. Uh, so yeah, this is a pretty awesome little thing. It does take a, a few minutes to figure out and, you know, get your buttons assigned, but it's very, very versatile from what I can tell. Awesome, and I, and I hadn't used it yet. It's, there's only 15 buttons, but you can make a folder. So you can make a folder and hit the folder key 
as one of those buttons and it'll it'll open up a whole nother i don't know what the max is but i know you can open up at least one more one more window and fill up even more buttons or you can get a big uh big one i just got sucker to open a safe quote oh county hospital yeah where you're where you're most most of where all your where all the ppes where are all the ppes you can my mother sent me this from washington Oh, where'd the other one go? She sent me two N95 mask. Let's see, look. Wear them. She went to trouble to get. So she is an older lady and uh, she's frequently in the hospital herself up in the state of Washington. So I'm not sure what she did to get these, but I can just see her like on her walker, like sneaking down the hospital hospital aisle and and uh you know i've got an n95 mask for my son love you mom not that you'll ever watch this appreciate it hot pink lacy bra face mask if i it when i guess I, I guess it's really now when i'm gonna start wearing it uh I, i'm definitely gonna want to design and i saw there's so many you know p bored people at home who know how to sew or making them and and now the latest one i've seen is a bandana where you fold up a bandana and put two rubber bands and then tuck it in and hook the rubber bands around your ears uh yeah and then people are like well that's not safe but, but you could put a coffee filter in it and it'll help even more uh, I am not going to be one to like go buy a case of these when other people need these way worse than me. Uh, we are definitely staying like social distancing as much as possible while we're on site and wiping down the handles and the keys before we get back. Switching out gloves like four times. By the way, thanks again, Wes, for letting me uh, for sending me the they're giving me the uh, the rubber gloves from Lowe's. We were talking about this last week. I've got the cheapy ones, but I wore them for the first time on a job yesterday and I didn't like them. Number one, I would like them. So I would like them better. They're very thick. They're from Lowe's. They're like the spider. And that's probably one reason why I don't like them is because they're represented by a spider. Uh, <laughs> I don't like spiders. Uh, they're very thick. They make your hands sweat a lot more than regular ones. They don't tear true. But like on the jobs that I'm doing where I go in and I'll have gloves on, I'm like put gloves on, get out of your truck, put your gloves on, go inside, introduce, blah, 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 start to get the door shown to you, take all the locks off, come back to the truck, take those rubber gloves off, put a new pair of rubber gloves on, rekey the locks, put them back together, take those gloves off, in between those I'll wipe my hand with a, with a sanitary thing. And I'll wipe down if, if, well, most of the time it's just cylinders, but if like there's doorknobs there, when I have the uh, Lysol wipes open, then I'll wipe down the door handles. So we're at this, and while I'm rekeying them, that's the second part. Typically I'll tear the lighter duty ones when I'm rekeying, which is okay. Um, take them off, let your hands air dry, because by then, you know, your, your hands are all sticky and gooey. God, I'm so tired of that. And I know Night Owl, you're, you're wearing them way more than I am, but. Uh, and then discard, wipe hands, air dry as much as possible, as quick as possible, and new gloves. New gloves in, do your job, put them back on, come back out of the car, get the paperwork, off, new gloves. So four usually is what I've been I've been working on. And that those are those are those are good for if I'm working on something straight away. If I'm on a door that know that I know is gonna take me you know two or three hours or whatever the case is then they would come into play and then i bought the home depot ones as well they're a little bit better than that but you know those home depot ones tear awfully easily for as thick not as thick as the lowe's ones but uh I, i'm i'm kind of glad even though they tear i'm kind of glad i've got these real thin gray ones because i'm going through them so much yeah you used coffee filters yes you don't like spiders how old is your building i can promise you 
that we we I can I'm gonna knock on wood again but we really have never ever had any of those types of problems here roaches yes that sounds gross roaches do come around and we did have a rat period where I battled rats for six months and it's all because of my neighbors them and them both cause those problems I have some nasty neighbors and I'm not gonna say anything else about that uh, but no not really don't have they don't I guess it's I don't know why you just don't like it I'm so happy though. I'm so happy so happy that I don't have to deal with that yes the roaches are the worst though not bad problems but I mean like we get a stray and they're like these big sewer roaches and they're coming in I know where they're coming in from I mean, we are definitely not the cleanest people in the world, but we were very careful to not leave food. You know, we, we put like even this is going to go in a garbage can that's only here at most for two days and it gets taken away. So, yeah. Ugh. Bugs. Bugs, bugs, bugs. If you see one roach, you don't see the other 99. Yeah. But we, we bait them all the time. We always are cycling through. through and, and it's back and forth like I haven't, uh, thank you, Wes. I've been putting the blue nitrile first thing inside and wipe down everything with Clorox. Well, it sounds expensive. Well, luckily those weren't too much. Wear a mask every time you leave the house, every time you open the door. You feel pretty lousy right now with the same mask. Right, that's gonna. I already know that's gonna suck. I'm experimenting with the steam vapor inhaler to, to sterilize. I mean, is that okay though for your surrounding area, the area around your steam vapor thing? Can't tell you how many apartments you've gone into, food and plates all over. I'm not even gonna tell you about the the one. We all have the one story about roaches, and honestly, I I, I did. I burnt my clothes afterward burnt my clothes afterward practical locksmithing yes thank you uh, we have limited like I said earlier we've limited our hours and as of next week and we went from technical Google hours or 1030 to 6 I stay here till about 630 however and that was when we we're busy 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 and I always had stuff to do after I got back in off the road from like four to six, usually I would be gone from, but I get here at 7.30 every morning and we start, have we have booked in appointments at eight. So between eight and 10.30 before Kim gets here, the shop is not listed as being open. Of course, if I'm here, I'm open. So uh, we limited hours because there are so few people in our area right now. And, and with me being gone, like all last week, I was busy as heck and I was gone. So we started limiting our hours because we're kind of slowing down in the area. Not as many people out with the restaurants being closed. Uh, there's not as many people here. But on the same token, we still do have the listed hours. As far as closing it permanently, what we'll probably do is, is if we go, when we have to go further with it, is maybe do like 8 to 12, like, I don't know because we do have emergency calls that come through and I do have customers around here that have somehow managed to have at least some type of not really emergency we talked about this emergency thing last week on Saturday morning live 13 emergency is very you know heavily heavily quoted emergencies the factory that I had to get called out to to secure their rubber glove room. Yeah, they needed it done because they were experiencing a loss uh, and they didn't have the key or they had a key but they you know they were experiencing loss and the rubber gloves were needed for their employees and they were experiencing a loss so you know they they needed it to be done. Yes I could have just answered the phone and stayed at home and kept the shop closed but we live 20 something miles away from here. So, you know, longer drive, as long as I'm able to keep coming up, if I have to close the shop, what I might do is just come up here during the day because I'm, I'm, I'll be isolating myself, honestly. 
And if we decide to close the shop, I'll be here and just put a note on the door that says knock on the door. And it'll give me shop cleaning time, which I have actually started in the back room. I'm going to start in the back room, work my way forward. If we look over here, look at this. Shop cleaning time. You know when the key machine bench gets cleaned off and you can do this? That, uh, yeah, it's gotten slower. Gotten slower. Good morning, Mike. What is up? Ian had to close his shop two weeks ago. It's ironic that here in the UK, the locksmiths aren't... Yeah, so going back Saturday morning 12, when we were talking about essential, I've looked at the list that the CDC or the Mississippi is relying on. Executive Order 1463 from Mississippi is what it is. And we're directly in three of the categories. Automotive repair, broken keys, uh, electronic security and life safety, um, and then you have building, building services, hardware stores. And then, then you have, like, there's whole sections for, like, hospitals. And then there's whole sections for Department of Defense. And in each one of those, it says, and businesses necessary to, to keep the running of said operation, which we would fall under. So, I mean, like, we're directly in three categories. Locksmiths, in general, nationwide, in the U.S. anyway, are in, if you are a commercial with commercial like hospital government and all sorts of other stuff clients then technically yeah you we you fall in a bunch of essential categories that just just how i'm reading it and even though it's not essential for me to be here today hopefully i'll be able to help that one person with the broken circle plus key right <laughs> hopefully i will be um but again i i i'm gonna come up here even if we do shut down shop and just do it on a limited basis uh, we did have that newscast thing. We've actually had some people come in to get keys made. That, that newscast, I didn't like that because it was like, local business pleads for pleads for your business. And it wasn't like that at all. You know, that's, that's why I don't do news. Beware, people. Don't do newscasts. I knew it then. I've known it for 20 dad blasted years. Don't do newscasts. Because you don't have control over what's going on. You don't have control over the edit. You don't have control how they're going to portray it. You don't have control over absolutely anything. And it wasn't like that at all. We were here. We were open. They went next door first. They came to talk to them. After they talked to them and interviewed them, then they came over here and talked to us. They didn't get mentioned or even their front of their building at all. And they put a bunch of b-roll b shots together nothing at all about businesses are you know having trouble we come out you know I, I i should have recorded what i should have done was set okay if you want to if you want to interview me there's a gopro gopro turn off or gopro stop recording thank you i don't know why it turns on it just turns on now it it loves me that's what i should have done was said if you want to interview me I want to interview you. That's right, news guy. If you're going to interview me, I'm going to interview you. And that's what I should have done, but I didn't do it because he caught me off guard with the camera. And I was all like, oh, I love your camera. Yeah, there's my keys. Yeah, we're open. <laughs> I love your camera. <laughs> Skull with the GoPro like a bad dog. I'm having to turn it. It is just randomly turning on now. This is the newer one. The new one. GoPro, turn off. And it just starts recording now for no reason. It, it does it, you know, you can say go. I'm not going to say. It just turned on again. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, turn on. Thank you. I can't say it again. Otherwise, it'll do it again. I think locksmiths are more essential than Hobby Lobby. Yeah, they got away with that because they were like, we sell, what, crafts? I mean... Yeah, some of those are 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 pushing it. Got a pantry moth problem. Ugh. Oh, and what about those little sewer gnats? Every so often, every so often. And the way to kill sewer gnats or little bitty irritating things is uh, pour bleach down all your drains continuously for like several days. I'm gonna run back over the comments because I've just been really bad about comments. I apologize to you guys for not keeping up 
Uh, <laughs> I have all that YouTube revenue. Yes, we were able to buy bre bread and milk for the next day. Uh, but one thing about that, and, and, and you creators, nothing against you guys. I completely understand putting out content if you don't have anything else to do. That's the awesome thing to do. But have you all noticed that it's actually getting worse for your views? Like the more, because so many more people are, com are, are doing content. The celebrities are doing it from their house. Uh, like artists are going live and, and there's so much content right now that it's actually it's actually flattening <laughs> flattening the curve right like you had in the very beginning it was like yeah this is a good time for content because there's more people at home right well then then come along all these these people that that have never picked up a phone have never uploaded a video in their life and the next thing you know People are, there's just so much content right now and actually we're getting a decline. I don't know if you've noticed that on your channel or not. If you have, post in the comment section if you have noticed, if you watch your statistics at all. If you have noticed a weird up and then immediately start going back down. And I think it's because of an overload of content. It's an overload. I'll go back down here. Let's go. Okay, Google. <laughs> no, no, I'm not... I'm not gonna say it out loud. That's funny though. Flat views, less subscribed. Oh, 84 on. Welcome to Saturday Morning Live. All you who have just joined in, thanks for tuning in. It is now 12.30. We usually go from 11 to 1. Central Standard Time. Make sure and hit that thumbs up button if you are here. I expect to go see at least 86 likes on the video that's right go hit that thumbs up button i appreciate it subscribe if you are further interested in watching this channel we do weird videos sometimes we do normal lot related videos sometimes and we have saturday morning live with everybody here right now i'm not even going to go back and look at my twitter notifications right now i'm just kind of looking at my screen to see what's going on uh wednesday afternoon live yet yeah, you know yeah y'all my regular guys here know i did wednesday afternoon lives for a while but what it was doing, it, I felt like it was hurting my Saturday morning content because I was having to, <laughs> was having to come up with so much content. So I stopped it, but I started it back recently uh, simply because when I come into the shop, I will set up for my live. I actually did a, had a, a I did, I've done two so far. Both of them are, are sitting in my video queue. The first one was for Saturday morning live seven. And uh, it was a 35 minute video. And I was like, I can make that shorter. And then I made a 52-minute video for Saturday morning. Well, I, it wasn't actually a Saturday morning live. So I, 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 we make long videos, and uh, there's a few people who, who hate that. So if you hate long videos, just don't bother being here. But uh, if you if you appreciate a little bit of work that we have to do to do uh, to do, uh, why didn't y'all tell me that was not on number two? Did somebody tell me, and I didn't pay attention? I honestly can't believe that I missed that comment. I know somebody probably screamed it. So, uh, man, that's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Must have had a lot of coffee this morning. I'm talking way faster than normal. I'm trying to get everything in within the message because I, I really love going live for you guys. It lets me connect with y'all. Even though I have not, uh, <laughs> Barber. Yes, oh uh, God, that's a drip. This is starting to drive me. I have gone through a uh, a hair thing before where I grew a way out. That was fun. Pissed Kim off something fierce. Uh, and it's not bad, bad yet, but it's in the summertime in Mississippi. It's so hot, and I, the drink fall, you know, dripping and all this on my face. Uh, it's just, it's rough. <laughs> We're at 50,000 likes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't wait to go back over some of the comments. I know I've been called the devil for being a, an active part of that and all this other stuff, but... <sighs> all righty, Bill Bacardi, what's up? I didn't see you join in, but thanks for tuning in. Yep, go back to work. Do what you can to work. Help people out. I know y'all probably have random weirdo busy stuff up there. But at least once a day, we have had a, quote, COVID-19 related, 
quote, heavily quoted emergency. Who's to say what's an emergency and who's not? We are here open uh, as long as possible to be able to help out mostly our commercial customers. Uh, in fact, we and I didn't mention it, but we did have somebody locked in a bathroom at the animal shelter. I got away without getting a Frank. Little Frank is, he's still short, y'all. He's, he's, he's short, but he's big. He's like a short, big dog. It's so hilarious. We got a video of him the other day. I wish I would have gotten a picture of him, but little Frank is now medium Frank. And he's just got these little short, stumpy legs, and it's just so funny. He's just such a cute dog. We're, and he got a friend, Frank. Yes, that's right. Little Frank, or medium Frank now, got a rescue friend as well. She uh, she couldn't take it and went and got rescue Frank. Uh, a, a complimentary name. I can't remember what it was, but Frank now has a little friend. So we were sad that Frank was going to a house with... Uh, with uh, you know, no other dogs. So we're we're incredibly thrilled that Frank now has a little buddy or a little girl buddy. So he's vertically challenged. He is vertically challenged. That is right. Hey, Chris, what's up? You know, if you're going to get locked in somewhere, honestly, the bathroom is the best place. You can go, what, a month without food? But you have water, you have a place to use the bathroom, and hopefully you have a power. You may not have your power cord for your phone. Uh, so that would get kind of depressing after your phone went dead, but uh, uh, Hey, Jessica, what is up? Thanks for saying hi to me. Hope you're doing well Make sure your dad stays very safe and very well during these times and you as well So I appreciate your dad and you tuning in and everybody else who's tuned in. It's only 1230 However, just due to lack of content, you know for the rest of this broadcast We're just gonna be kind of just like what do we call it jaw janking? Y'all jank, and we were just talking again. Yes, I'm, I'm almost out. I kind of try to time this down to uh, in case you missed it. It's Mississippi Cold Drip, MSColdDrip.com. They do ship out best dang cold coffee ever made right here in Jackson, Mississippi, made with local hands. Wish YouTube had a mute like Twitter does. I wish YouTube would let you truly block people. If we go back to that newscast, we do have a longtime troll who's probably here watching, who's probably one of my, oh, I know he is, but uh, yeah, he posted on that news video because he's blocked from this channel. Just, I mean, so, so many trolls. I wish YouTube would fix that. Yeah, the VVDI Mini, uh, HKS told me about that last week. I looked at it briefly. I think the worst to be locked in an elevator or a freezer. Ugh. Hmm. Problem with subscribing is a hybrid of getting video notifications, being friends. You can't have one. That's what I'm trying to do. RSS reader. Huh. <laughs> oh, just... Wait, wait. I'm trying to go back over the car. Are you holding off on the lock force community with shipping and giveaways? Okay, there's a question. Am I holding off? I'm a Locks North Lock, Lock community with shipping and giveaways. I do have the giveaway that we started at the beginning of this year that we hadn't followed up on that about four people are still left on. Uh, I've been terrible about that. Not getting it. That That's not the reason why I haven't done finished that one. I'm going to finish that one. I'm just going to do a video. We're just going to do a video where I roll and, and do it and get that shipped out. Um, but I do have some tools. Uh, some beginner tools like screwdrivers and stuff like that. Some of the ones that I used because I was going to do a video on tools that has been since put off because I got so busy over the last month that I never had. I, I did a video and the, the volume sucked on it. And during that time, I was going to I was going to do that. But as far as sending out, if we do a giveaway or whatever, uh, we'll definitely mask up and rubber glove up and wipe everything down before we send it. Uh, and I know a lot of people are not sending those because they just don't want foreign cooties, for lack of better terms. Uh, so it would be, you know, we can still do a giveaway. We can still leave it up to the person who wins. Uh, we can still guarantee that we'll wipe everything down and, and be careful with it. Uh, but it's up to the person, whoever would win, would win said giveaway, not we're not doing a giveaway right now, but whoever would win said giveaway uh, would have that option as to wait or whatever, you know, that's, 
That's that's not really a reason why I'm not doing giveaway. I don't really do a lot of giveaways anyways. Flooded market. Thank you for posting the news video. Uh, Aiden, you're going to send me something? That's cool. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. As long as it doesn't have a suspicious substance in it, that's fine. There's a bot, Tim. Yes, I just blocked Tim. Uh, Tim is the same as the video that we posted recently called Trap. It's a trap. It's a trap! It's a trap! We hadn't quite figured out what the trap part of it is. Well, we knew what the trap part of it was then because they were all trapped music now it's just tim tim can go screw himself because he's now blocked so tim i know you're probably not watching because you don't watch videos you're just a bot you can you can whatever i'm not even gonna say it not even gonna say it not tim if your profile name is tim and you have no content and 277,000 subscribers then you can go f yourself <laughs> Send a pair of gloves in the giveaway. That's a good idea. Send a pair of gloves in the giveaway. My truck still has not shown up over here. And my signs are all out front because I put them out front. Uh, to try to get them to move, but I guess they ignored them. So, the whole street's empty except for my truck way down there and my two signs out front. Let's see. Still empty. Got my little sign out there. Because I want that one parking place. And there is the a restaurant owner across the street. He is about to... Looks like he is leaving for the day. They have... They packed them in. They're doing like plate... Uh, like big plate lunch things. Like what they make normally. Except a larger version. So that you can put it in an oven and feed. They're having this little drive through because this parking lot, you can drive through it and come out the other side. And in fact, you really can't tell from that camera position, but they've got numbers painted on the wall on the other side. Let's shift the camera a little bit. Still hard to tell but yeah over there on that wall they got numbers painted so you pull in you get your number and they tell you to park over there at one of those numbers i don't know if that's sidewalk chalk or i certainly hope that's sidewalk chalk because that building does not belong to them <laughs> put a sign out that says coronavirus area I don't want to scare people off. YouTube only blocks per railway things that seem dangerous. Uh, yes, and I had I did notice on my lives where I mentioned what I mentioned, mentioned the virus. Yeah. No monetization. Nope. Limited monetization. So uh, be careful, uh, careful saying that in your titles of your videos. Just don't lick the parts and ship them with Overnight Express. Cheaper to wrap it in gold. <laughs> oh, hey, LPP got us locked back together. That uh, LPP's video is a good lesson on why locksmiths, why American locksmiths don't like profile cylinders. <laughs> I guess that's kind of the same way I do them. Don't like profile cylinders. The VVDI does all that the RW4 can do and at 150 new smartphone. Well, the RW4 uh, doesn't do remotes. Is that you know, When we were talking about it last week, you said something about it doing remotes. It does remotes, like GM and uh, Ford remote head keys, I should say, because my RW4 won't work for anything. I don't have the smart box, mind you, or the, uh, the M box. I don't have that. But the RW4 itself won't really do anything related to uh, remote-headed keys. So what I'm looking for is a Chrysler. Really, Chrysler remote-head keys, maybe? 
that would be probably one of the biggest ones that I would want. So if it can do those, I will definitely check into it. I think you said it did, though. Chips and remotes, X, X horse, X horse remotes, okay. <laughs> Had to go do a lockout for a landlord. <laughs> Bot, yeah, robot. Robot, there are plenty of robots out there. Seem to be a decent amount of traffic. Uh, yes, trafficy. As far as traffic goes, it's trafficy, but we are a major thoroughfare. So, uh, it's just not like totally trafficy. It's definitely slow. And I, and again, going back to the title of the video, the month of Sundays. That's what it is. Kim made the joke. Uh, the other day, she was like, she was just standing there. We were standing there. It was like Monday or Tuesday. She goes, I really hate coming up here on Sundays. <laughs> it was like Monday or Tuesday. And that's because this is how the area is on Sundays. And it's funny because every single business around us has tried to do the Sunday thing. Which is, well, number one, we're in the South. It's the Bible Belt. It's called the Bible Belt for a reason all about church on Sundays, all about not working on Sundays. And uh, this is now every day. Every day every day is Sunday to us. So I know it's the same way. Excuse me. I know it's the same way for y'all. It's just going to be for the foreseeable future a month of Sundays. You had a nightmare last night, a telescoping steering column. Oh, why are you giving me that nightmare? Don't give me that nightmare. Oh, Cadillac. And nasty. I mean nasty. I hated those telescopic things. Uh, those GMS uh, tailpieces are for Yale. Uh, both their heaviest duty grade lever handles and their panic device exterior trim, which I think is 446F. It's the lever handle that goes for the panic device. Has to have a long tailpiece. That's what that's for. UHS, really great for oh, We get catalogs from UHS. Hmm. I have to look into them more. I would... I don't know. I, we Locksmith store is one... Yeah, I don't know if it's just a regional thing, but them guys are kind of rough at the locksmith store. I deal with it, but I don't, or, I don't order a whole lot from them, but I think it's just maybe an area, have, you know, that's in the south or a little bit more friendly, it seems like, than some areas. And uh, it's just one of those things where, you know, when you, when you answer the phone and you're real gruff, I can totally understand it with it just being, I don't know. Just a little gruff, but we do order stuff on them, so just be happy about that if you're here, <laughs> if you're watching. It's in the 40s. It is uh, warm. I'm in shorts today. Being in quarantine with someone you don't like in a building. Yeah. Texas. Texas, you need the, uh, what do you need? Do you need the... HPC Renegade Pit Kit. Yeehaw! <laughs> I just had to hit my button one more time. I'm trying to exercise my buttons as much as possible. All right, Ian, thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate you tuning in for Saturday Morning Live. It's 12.43. We're going to go ahead and start the wrap-up now. Looks like we got up to, we're floating around 75 right now. Got up to about 82, 86 or something like that. I appreciate everybody who has tuned in. It was stopped in. Hopefully you posted a comment. I may not have seen it, but uh, I appreciate all y'all who stop in. The new guys that are here, the new guys or gals. Um, as always, we do stickers. If you if you have not gotten your sticker, you can go to the website. Uh, one of the last ones, things that I'll task Wes with doing is post the link there for the website. As always, we ship out 
set of stickers to you. If you have posted, you got to say hey. You got to say hey, then go get it. If you have never spoken during Saturday Morning Live to be a member of Lock Force, you do have to say hey to everybody or, or what's up or something so that we know you're out there, that we know you're watching. We know that we're, we're useful here. <laughs> got to be useful. Got to be essential. I'm essentially here. Essentially. And, uh, yep, don't turn that off. I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to bask in the glow for the rest of the day. Probably cutting the hours down today since it is obviously so busy. I had a whopping one customer today who really didn't have an emergency, who only came in because he saw us on the news. So we appreciate him. Uh, but... I'm not going to spend a whole lot more time up here today. I don't have any plans for any videos to come out. I've got a bunch of videos filmed. So, once again, if I put videos out, it's likely going to be older content. Maybe even before all this started. So, I will try to put in any videos that I manage to get out. I'll try to make sure and put in the description, like, old content so you know. Uh, so, any videos that you see pop up in the next week to two weeks, honestly... Uh, will most likely be uh, a little bit dated, maybe a month or two behind. And uh, I'll try to crank out some of that because, uh, yes, I saw your I saw your shield, thank you, but you sent that, and then the next thing you know, there's, there's 50 plus thousand notifications if, if I grouped them all together. So <laughs> 50 plus thousand something notifications was very interesting. It's, it's extremely humorous to watch it. Steam Gadget, I appreciate you for uh, tuning in on your second live stream. And uh, and yeah, I appreciate all y'all who, uh, thanks Wes for posting that. I appreciate all y'all who tune in. And uh, smash that like button, lick that smash button, smash that like button and, and do all those things that you know you're supposed to do to help pay for the batteries for the Lock Force Light. And uh, we're just going to roll on as we do. Maybe a little bit lighter. Maybe not as much. It just started drizzling outside. One more button push. Actually, two more button pushes. But uh, you can't tell, really. Maybe you can tell. But it is drizzling outside now. So that is even a greater indicator, a greater statement of the earth saying, Jason, go home. Jason, go home. It is time for you to go home. It's the one o'clock. What is it? No, it's, it's 15 till. So we're going to be cutting it off early. Even though I did say 11 to 1. Uh, yeah, we're done. We're done for today. I appreciate all y'all have tuned in, who have chatted with everybody. Again, sorry I missed your comments. Uh, sorry I didn't hey, say hey to everybody. Blue wall is pretty COVID. Uh, but everybody, I'm just going to go backwards from here, from fun. Thanks for joining in, Chris. Fred, Science Secure Tech. Uh, Chris with a K, Ken underscore, DD, Mr. Forbes, if he's still here. Steam Gadget, Pete, Suncoast, Fred, Dusty Knuckles. Yes, thank you for tuning in. Get your coffee. Get your, get your, uh, get your uh, pretzel pop tart. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't get your pretzel pop tart. Uh, Get a better pop tart. <laughs> Bart Simpson, as always. Uh, Ian, everybody, I think you're already had to leave. Nick, practical locksmithing, access locks. Uh, Wes, again, thank you for your moderating. Uh, Night Owl was not supposed to be here, but he showed up, so thanks for tuning in, Night Owl. And uh, lockpicking patrolman, I'm glad you got your fun stuff done. So, Anthony, good to see you, as always. DD, Zachary, and. Uh, Everybody else I missed. Everybody else. Brian. Chaz's lock picking. Hey, what's up? I don't know. I think I said it. I think I actually said it. Chris Capoon, as always, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. And uh, anybody else I missed who might be watching this to the end later on, uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being part of Saturday Morning Live Season 2, or Year 2, Episode 14. Can't wait till Episode 15. It'll probably be just as dead as it is now, but we are going to do everything in our power. Even if I get holed up in the, in the domicile because there's tanks rolling through the street and declaring martial law, I will still do a live. That probably won't happen, and I'll probably be sitting right here next Saturday for Saturday Morning Live 15. 
But in the meantime, take care of yourself. Block force, disinfect, and uh, disconnect. Enjoy your time at home. I know many of you have been at home for like more than two weeks now and you're like, screw you, I'm tired of being at home. And I can completely understand that uh, because it would drive me stir crazy. It has driven me stir crazy. I've been in this situation when I broke my back a long time ago. You, you get really bored at three months. Three months is really, really horrible. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> well, thanks for waking up at 2 a.m. on Sunday. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, Y'all's, uh, the time change is supposed to happen, I think, this week for y'all. So, definitely found the limits of my intro. Yeah, introverts are just like, please, let me go out. We never go out and every day comes like, you ready to go to the bar? You ready to go dancing? You ready to go to the sushi place? Oh, sushi. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> oh, I miss sushi so much. You know what I really miss? My Mexican lunch. My Mexican. Oh, I miss it so much. I miss everything about being able to just drive to a job and, and then go into another job and be like, I'm going to run into margaritas. That's my Mexican place and get a big bowl of cheese dip and a big old burrito. It's, just, it's so horrible. Sushi and Japanese fried cheesecake. I've never tried Japanese fried cheesecake. No, no, you, you can't. Mexican takeout is just not, not the same. Well, James Randolph, I didn't see you. Thanks for joining in, as always. And y'all have a great one. We're going to go dream about oh, restaurants being open. Y'all have a great weekend, and uh, stay safe. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. Make sure and take your vitamin C and your zinc. I'm doubling up every day now, doubling down on my vitamin C and my zinc. So, yes. Y'all have a great weekend. We'll catch you next video. Thanks for tuning in.